Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these adorable mini gummy bears. So this was inspired by Zimmy Loom's big gummy bear. So I made a small one. This is what it looks like. It's so cute. I made a rainbow array of them. So, and these are also available on my Etsy store linked below. So if you lost some, go check it out. So I'll be showing you guys how to make these. The band count is about 183 bands. So you only need one color. And I know it looks small, but yeah. So yeah, this is a band count. So let's get started. I'm gonna be using green. And I really love using the colors from the glow in the dark because it's really like gummy-like. So yeah. So let's get started. So we're gonna make the head. Uh, it's all in one piece, but anyways, we're gonna make the head. So we're gonna start with a magic ring of six. So we're going to wrap our band around two times to create three loops. And then we're going to go ahead and put six stitches into it. Let me zoom in so you can see better. There, six loops. So one, Oops. One. And then two. Three. Oh, so how do you do a um, sumo crochet in the magic ring? You go into the loop and then you take a band and then you pull it through the, well, I didn't, you have to go through all three loops, which I didn't do. And then you take a band and pull it out. And then you reclaim the other end, and then you pull this loop through the other two loops. Okay, so that's how you do a single crochet. So that's three stitches. Now we're going to do, um, all together you need six. Five. And six. Today I'm using a different background. Because I just want to film at this table. But one, two, three, four, five, six of so these kind of V shape, kind of teardrop shapes are your stitches. So once you have six, you can take your C clip and put it on the band on your hook. Let me go find mine. So you put the C clip on the band that's on your hook, and that's row one. So now we're going to move on to row two, which is an increase all the way around. So you're going to go through that stitch. And then you're just going to be putting two stitches in one. So one, and then two, okay? So that's an increase. So you're gonna do that all the way around. I'm going to be doing it a little faster. Three. And then four. off-centered the camera but okay so once you've done your last stitch which is a stitch with the c-clip you're going to move your c-clip up and then on the band and that's on your hook and you should have 12 stitches at the end of row two so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve okay twelve stitches now we're going to move on to row three and actually we're going to be doing for row three to five we're going to be doing a single crochet so that um wait row three. that's three rows of single crochets all the way around so it's just going to be going through the loop and doing one single crochet in every single stitch for two so sorry for three rows around so do a bit Okay, so three rows all the way around in single crochets. So after three rows, it should look like this. So we can move on to row six now, and in row six, we're going to be doing a decrease all the way around. 
So, how to do a decrease, we're going to be grabbing the front loop of the next stitch and then you're going to grab the back loop of the second stitch. So the um, part that's furthest away from you. And so you'll have three loops on your hook. And then we're going to be grabbing another band and then you pull through those two loops, reclaim, and then you pull through, pull this through those two loops. Okay, hope you understood. Okay, so we're gonna do decreases all the way around. And you should end up with um, six stitches at the end. So decrease three. And you can stuff if you want, but I'm going to wait until the end. Okay. I actually made a short about these gummy bears. It's like a dance kind of thing. So you can check it out. It's on my, uh, it's a short, so. And then mind, I was, I was gonna say it's on my YouTube channel, but this, I am filming this video for my YouTube channel, so. Yeah, anyways. So this is a decrease, you should have six stitches. So we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we're going to move on to row seven, which is an increase all the way around. So once again, you're going to have two single crochets in one stitch. And you should end up with six stitches. So I opened an Etsy store recently. I haven't made a video about it yet, but you can see on my Instagram. And if you haven't um, followed my Instagram yet, uh, you should, because I have I I come up like I have updates on when I'm gonna film like a video or new stuff on my Etsy store. So yeah. But I won't be making a video about it soon when I have everything set up. Yeah, and these gummy bears, as I said, is also available in my Etsy. I think it would look really cute if you like get the whole set. Okay, so that's my last stitch. My last increase. And that is row seven. You should have 12 stitches now. Okay, so now, uh, for row 8, all the way till 12, we're going to be doing single crochets, so that is, let me count, 8, 9, 10, 11, that should be 5 rows of single crochet. So once you've done that, uh, you can come back, I'm going to go off camera to do this, but yeah, 5 rows of single crochet all the way around, and you should end up with 12 stitches. So now this is what it looks like after five rows of single crochet. So now you can go ahead and stuff this gummy bear. So after it's stuffed, we can move on to row 13. And row 13 is just decrease all the way around. So you're gonna put the loop back onto your hook and then we're going to be doing a decrease all the way around. So I already showed you how to do it. So. Just gonna not show you this time. So after this row, you're going to have six stitches all the way around. Okay. So this is a pretty simple pattern, and I hope you understood. I always try to improve my tutorials to make them more like understandable and more clear on when I'm doing the next step because sometimes I just say random things because I can't think of anything to say. So this is the last decrease. Should end up with six stitches.
you don't need and then you can take out a C code because you don't need it anymore and then we can close it so how I close it is I just go into my next stitch and then take a band and do a slip knot like that and then you're just gonna go through the top part of each stitch around and weave in and out so then you pull it back out the top Oops. pull it back out and then you bring it back in like that and then once it's pretty much closed you can just pull in your slip knot like that so this is how you make the body you can slowly squish into shape here's a reference so yeah so now we're going to go ahead and make the ears so to make the ears you're just going to pick a spot on the head so i'm going to do it right here on the side and we're going to I pick this one actually and then we're just gonna stitch seven stitches on the head and it's supposed to kind of go like up and then down like the ear shape so let me show you so you're gonna do one stitch I mean seven stitches in the head so you're just gonna first go up so this is a stuck in stitch And then we're gonna continue going up, third stitch. And then you're gonna go fourth. My fourth one is on the magic ring. And then you're gonna kinda go start going down now. So we're gonna go up to this one, fifth. And then sixth stitch will be right here. And then seven, I'm gonna do it right here. Okay. So you see how it kind of goes up and down, like on a really flat, like oval. So once we're done that, we can put a C clip on the band that's on our hook. We're going to move on to row two of the ear. And it's going to be a single crochet all the way around and you should end up with eight stitches because we're going to go through that little slip knot stitch right here can you see it's not really a stitch but we're going to go through it anyways so it's this really tiny stitch that's poking out i don't know if you can see or not but yeah you should end up with eight stitches uh so single crochet all the way around And then we're nearly there. So we're in our last stitch, and then you can move the C clip up. So then that's on your hook. So now we're done row two. We should have eight stitches. So let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so after you're done row two, we're going to move on to row three, which is a decrease all the way around. Um, yeah, I think you just keep decreasing until it's closed. So you don't really need the C clip now. Just take it off. Just keep decreasing. And I didn't put any stuffing in my ear since it's pretty small and it's pretty thick because I'm crocheting on both, like... I'm crocheting a circle instead of like crocheting one piece like a flat piece so you shouldn't need stuffing but you could if you want so decrease till it's closed now it looks pretty close to me so I'm just going to do one more decrease and then go ahead and close it like that Oops. And then 
then throw everything and then pull through like that. And you can go ahead and pull through your uh, band back inside, hide it. Okay, so that's one ear. Now we're gonna go ahead and move the make the other ear. I'm gonna do it with you since it could be different, I don't know, so that we don't have to rewind. Okay, so I did the left ear, I mean the right. You could switch it and become the left ear, but I like this side better. And then we're going to now do the other ear. So you're gonna choose around where you put it. This one, uh, I put it around this row, so I'm gonna turn like this. And then it's gonna be about this one. Oops. Yeah, choose this one. Then I'll go back up and then go back down that way. Okay, so again, we're gonna be doing seven stitches on the head. So we're gonna do one and then two, three, And this time I didn't really um, touch the touch the magic ring, but that's mm, you know I'll go in the magic ring too. Never mind. Okay, so five. One, two, three, four, five. Then you can turn now. Six. Seven. And that's how you make the ear. So now we're gonna move on to row two, which is single crochet all the way around, and you should have eight stitches because we're gonna go through this little loop again down here. So single crochet all the way around. Just have to judge where the ears should go. These are pretty big ears because I can really make them like, smaller. If they don't look good, I'll just fix them off camera. <laughs> but yeah, yours is gonna be definitely different from mine because it depends on where you put your um, start your stitches for your head, so it's okay if it's different, as long as it looks like an ear and you're happy with it. Okay, so that's the last stitch, remove your C-clip up. So now we're going to decrease till it's closed. So I'm gonna take my C-clip off actually. So you just decrease. I should have a band count for this. I think I haven't filmed it yet, but should be in the beginning of the video. I haven't filmed the tutorial in a while, so yeah. But I know many, like, actually, a few people asked me if there's going to be a tutorial for this, so that's exciting because. I know you guys will make it. And I like it when I know someone's gonna make one of my creations. So after you're done, you're gonna just pull your slip knot in. It's like a big hole here because for some reason I did five stitches up and it's just this stitch, but it's fine. Okay. Maybe I'll turn it this way. It looks better this way. So this is how you make the ears. Now I'm going to show you how to make the arms and legs and nose. So to make the arms, we're just going to do a magic ring of five. It's really easy. You just need to make four of them for the arms. So you're going to do a magic ring. So you're going to put around your hook two times to create three loops. And then you're going to add five stitches. So one, 
two, three, four, and five. And then you're going to go to the first stitch on your magic ring and just do a slip knot. So this is how you make the arms. You're going to have to make four of them. And now I'm going to show you how to make the nose. The nose is just six stitches. So six stitches in the magic ring. Same as the very beginning of the head. So I'm going to do one, two, three. Oops. Four and five. And six. And then after you've done that and you have six stitches, you're going to put your hook in the first stitch and then you're gonna do a slip knot. And then we're gonna add we're gonna add more bands when we attach it. So yeah, remember four arms, um four arms and a nose. You only need one nose. So yeah, um I'll be back when I'm done and then you can come back when you're done too. So after you finish making your um arms, you should or arms and legs, you should have four and you'll have a nose. We're gonna start attaching them on, but before we do that we're gonna add slip knots. So we're going to add the slip knots on the opposite side of the other slip knots. So we're going to add it right here. That way we have two. We're nearly done, guys. So just hold on. Uh, hopefully this tutorial is not that long. But yeah, I'm going to add slip knots to the opposite side. Two, three, and one more. And. Done. So now we can attach the pieces. Pretty easy, um, I think. So we're just gonna be adding like the nose first. So we want to add it. Is it the reference again? We're gonna add it around right here in the middle. So right here, we're going to. Kind of maybe maybe make it um, three stitches. I mean, skip a sti uh, skip a hole. So the nose, this one's the nose. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, I'm gonna pull one piece to the other side and I'm skipping a hole. And then I kind of just do this, which looks really complicated. So I'm not gonna do that, and I'm not gonna show you how to do that. But that's how I sometimes do it. And then you can pull the stitch inside like that. Okay. And then now we're going to add the arms. I'll show you how I usually put it. That was just complicated. So the arms is about here so I'll put my first one right here if it doesn't look good um, you could just pull it out again and then to it so you just tie it like this like that you would normally tie a knot and then you can pull the stuff in. I'll, I'll do that later. And then you can go to the opposite side, which is right about here. So right here. And then you could pull one side through and then 
once again tie it into a knot. Okay, like that. And I don't like how I put it this one, so I'm gonna move that later, but. Now we're going to align the arms or the legs, just at the bottom. So, can't be perfectly aligned, but I'll write it, I'll put it right here. And then you just tie it. And then we'll tie the other one. Tie it right here. It's hard to judge where to put the arms. Usually I have to put it a few times until I get in the right spot. I think I'm putting the arms too wide right now. I'm just going to change it off to Yeah, it's kind of wide. But now you can go ahead and pull in all those slip knots. I'm going to do that off camera. I finished attaching it and this is what it looks like. Really cute. So this is how you make the mini gummy bear. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you do make one, it would be awesome of you to post a picture on Instagram and tag it to me so I can see your creations. I love it when um, you guys do that. Well, no one has done that yet, but if someone does, then that would be cool because I know that you guys make my stuff. But yeah, the, again, it's available on my Etsy store. So please don't forget to go check it out and it would be cool if you support me and buy something from my store. So all the colors I have available. So yeah, um, don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, comment below what other designs you want me to make and I'll see you next time in my next video. Bye!